Hello everyone. Welcome back to the second session of online teaching and learning of the chapter The Punjab a glimpse from the textbook of class 8. I am Manmohini Bhatia, English mistress at Government High School, Sherpur Kala, Ludhiana. Let's begin our session with the recapitulation of the first lecture. On your screen, a few incomplete sentences have been displayed. You have to complete these statements with the help of the hints given below. All these statements have been taken from the first part of the text that was explained in the previous lecture. You can take some time for this activity. Read these incomplete statements. and try to find the answers from the hints given below if you look at the statements the first one is bhangra dance is full of dash number 2 the people of punjab faced all the dash number 3 lala lajpat rai is known as dash number 4 the incident of jallianwala bag happened on dash number 5 the british general dyer ordered his riflemen to dash and the last one on the screen is about 1000 people were killed and more than dash hints are given below take some time Well students I hope you are ready with your answers so the first incomplete statement here is bhangra dance is full of and its answer is energy bhangra dance is full of energy number 2 the people of punjab faced all the foreign invasions boldly all the attacks from the foreigners the punjabis have faced it bravely now number 3 is lala lajpat rai is known as sher e punjab number 4 the incident of jallianwala bag happened on which date yes you have guessed it 13th april 1919 and number 5 is the british general dyer ordered his riflemen to fire at the crowd and the last one is about 1000 people were killed and more than 1500 were wounded well done students i hope now all the memories of the previous text have been refreshed in your mind let's come to the model reading of the text now please note down the words that you will find difficult in this part punjab suffered a lot on the eve of the independence of the country in 1947 the country was partitioned there was terrible bloodshed thousands of people had to leave their homes and live as refugees however the brave punjabis worked hard and started life afresh they played a great role in rebuilding the state they made punjab the granary of india with the help of a network of canals and the bhakra nangal project they brought about a green revolution in the country it is mainly due to the hard work of the punjabis that india is no longer a poor country but a developing nation well students i am sure 
You are ready with your list of difficult words now? Let's discuss some of these. The first word on your screen is Eve. Eve means the evening before an important event. Students, you must have heard about the Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve. All these are the evenings before these important days mentioned here. Now, next word is partitioned. Partitioned is the division of a country into separate areas of government. India was partitioned in 1947. I hope all of you know this thing. Now, the next word on the screen is refugees. Students, refugees are the people who leave their country to find shelter in another country during a war. They don't do it willingly. They are forced to run from their country due to some unavoidable circumstances. So I hope you are clear about the meanings of these difficult words. Now let's try to understand this part of the text on your screen. On the eve of the independence in 1947, Punjab suffered a lot. The country was divided into two parts, India and Pakistan. There was large-scale violence. Thousands of people had to become refugees. But Punjabis played a great role at that time. They worked hard to rebuild Punjab with the help of the network of canals and the Bhakra Nangal project they brought a green revolution in India. Thus, the Punjabis have played a pivotal role in making India a developing nation. Here comes the next part of the text on your screen. Get ready to note down the difficult words, students. So, let's have a model reading. Sir, wasn't Punjab further divided when the state of Haryana was carved out of it? Asked Raju. You are right, Raju. In 1966, the state of Punjab was reorganized on the basis of Punjabi and Hindi languages. Some of the hilly areas of Punjab, like Lahol Spiti, the valleys of Kulu and Manali, Kangra, Dalhousie and Shimla were integrated with Himachal Pradesh. Chandigarh was made the joint capital of both Punjab and Haryana. It was declared a union territory. The reorganized Punjab came into being in November 1966. Now, it has Pakistan on the west, Jammu and Kashmir on the north, Himachal Pradesh on the northeast and on the south, it has Haryana and Rajasthan. So, are you ready with your list of difficult words? Let's have a look at some of the difficult words from the previous slide. And the first word given here is carved. Carved means made something by cutting. Students, Haryana state was carved out of Punjab. Next word is integrated. Integrated means combined, combined into a whole. Integration is defined as mixing things or people together that were formally separated. So let's try to understand this part of the text now. When Raju asked Mr. Matthew about the division of Punjab when the state of Haryana was carved out of it, Mr. Matthew 
tells the students that Punjab was reorganized in 1966 on the basis of Punjabi and Hindi languages. Some of the hilly areas of Punjab like Lahol Spiti, Kulu and Manali, Kangra, Dalhousie and Shimla were combined with Himachal Pradesh. Chandigarh was made the joint capital of both Punjab and Haryana. The reorganized Punjab came into being in November 1966. Now, Punjab has Pakistan on the west, Jammu and Kashmir on the north, Himachal Pradesh on the northeast and Haryana and Rajasthan on the south. Now let's move on to our next part of the text that has been displayed on the screen. Let's have a model reading of this part first. So, here is the model of a dam. I think it is the famous Bhakra Dam, said Raju. You are right, Raju, said Mr. Matthew. This dam is 740 feet high. Its length is 518 meters and it is 9 meters broad. Its reservoir, known as Govind Sagar, stores up to 9 billion cubic meters of water. It is used for irrigating 10 million acres of fields in Himachal Pradesh, Punjab and Haryana. The electricity generated in the power houses at Bhakra and Nangal is supplied to the states of Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan and Gujarat. Pandit Nehru called Bhakra Dam the Temple of Modern India. Sir, I can hear the melodious strains of Gurbani. There must be a Gurdwara nearby, said Vicky. Well, we are near the Golden Temple of Amritsar. It is the holiest shrine of the Sikh, said Mr. Matthew. Now here is the list of the difficult words. Let's try to understand the meanings of these words first. And the first word here on the screen is melodious. Melodious means pleasant to listen to. Students, you must have enjoyed the melodious strains of the music several times. A beautiful and tuneful singing voice is an example of melodious singing. Now next word is strains. Strains means sounds of music. Sound of music being played or performed. Next word is shrine. Shrine is a holy place visited by people. Students, the Golden Temple of Amritsar, Vaishno Devi Temple, Ajmer Darga Sharif are some of the examples of shrine. And the last word on the screen is reservoir. Reservoir is a place for storing water. It is a large, normal or artificial lake used as a source of water supply. I hope you have learnt the meanings of these difficult words. So now let's try to understand the text going to be displayed on the screen. When Raju points at the model of the famous Bhakra Dam in the pavilion, Mr. Matthew tells his students about the height and length of the famous Bhakra Dam. He tells them that Bhakra Dam is 740 feet high and 518 meters long. Its reservoir, the lake, is known as Govind Sagar and it can store up to 9 billion cubic meters of water and the water that has been stored in this reservoir is used to irrigate 10 million acres of fields in the states like Himachal Pradesh, Punjab and Haryana. 
the electricity generated here is supplied to different neighboring states due to this importance of bhakra dam our first prime minister pandit jawaharlal nehru called it the temple of modern india now when wiki points out at the existence of a gurdwara after hearing the melodious strains of gurbani mr matthew tells them that they are near the golden temple of amritsar which is the holiest shrine of the sikhs time for some post reading activities now and the first activity is already on your screen students you have to unscramble the words displayed on the screen and write them correctly then you have to find the meaning of each word from the meanings given below so read each and every word that you have to unscramble carefully take your time first unscramble the words write them there then find out the meaning of each and every word from the meanings given below hurry up students well i'm sure you are ready with your answers now can we start discussing okay let's start discussing the answers and the first word on the screen is carved carved means made by cutting second word was shrine s h r i n e shrine and all of you know now that shrine is a holy place then the third word was strains and strains is sound of music number 4 word was very easy it's eve and eve means the evening before an event number 5 melodious the word was melodious meaning pleasant to listen to and last word was refugees refugees are the people who take shelter in other country have you got all the correct answers now so here comes the next post reading activity on your screen a question based on the text that you have just read has been displayed on the screen you have to read the question and answer it in one word or a phrase and the first question on the screen is when did the reorganization of punjab take place the reorganization of punjab yes when did it take place i hope all of you have guessed it and the answer is in november 1966 the reorganization of punjab took place in november 1966 now the second question is what is the name of bhakra dams reservoir name of bhakra dams reservoir take your time i'm sure you have guessed it now and the answer is the name of the reservoir is govin sagar yes and the third question is which is the holiest shrine of the six the holiest shrine of the six 
I'm sure this is very easy question for you. Because now all of you know that the holiest shrine of the sex is the golden temple of Amritsar. The golden temple of Amritsar. Now the fourth question is on your screen and it is how have the Punjabis helped India in becoming a developing nation? Yes, the role and contribution of the Punjabis in making India a developing country. How have they done it? Can you guess? Well, I'm sure you are ready and the answer is by bringing the green revolution in the country. Do you remember that India has been made a developing nation with the efforts of the Punjabis. They have done it with the help of the canals and Bhakra Dam. Now here is the next post reading activity on your screen and it is called choose the correct statement. Students, on your screen two statements have been displayed. Out of these two, one is right and the other is wrong. You have to read these statements carefully and on the basis of your understanding of the text, choose the correct statement. So read these two statements first. A is, at the time of partition, the Punjabis worked hard and started life afresh. And B is, at the time of partition, the Punjabis could no longer bear the loss of life. Which is the correct one? I'm sure all of you know that the correct one is the A part. That is, at the time of partition, the Punjabis worked hard and started life afresh. Now, the next slide is on your screen and the two statements are A. Chandigarh is the capital of Punjab only. And B. Chandigarh is the joint capital of both Punjab and Haryana, which is the correct statement. Yes, which is the correct one? It is very easy. Chandigarh is the joint capital of both Punjab and Haryana. Yes, the correct statement is the B part. So the next two statements are number one, the Bhakra Dam is 518 feet high and 740 feet wide. And the second statement on the screen is the Bhakra Dam is 740 feet high and 500 18 meters long. Very tricky question. Think about the answer. Think carefully. Yes. Which is the correct one? Bhakra Dam is 518 feet high and 740 feet wide or 740 feet high and 518 meters long. Which is the correct one? Well, the correct answer is the Bakra Dam is 740 feet high and 518 meters long. B part. This is the correct statement here. To refresh your memory, the dam is 740 feet high and its length is 518 meters and it is 9 meters broad. And its reservoir known as Govind Sagar stores up to 9 billion cubic meters of water which helps in the irrigation. 
Well, next two statements are coming on your screen now. And they are A. Pandit Nehru called Bhakra Dam the temple of modern India. And B. Pandit Nehru called Bhakra Dam the future of modern India. Which is the correct statement here? Yes, ready? And the answer is option A. Pandit Nehru called Bhakra Jam the temple of modern India because of its role in making India a developing nation. I think all of you agree here. Now students, I hope you enjoyed these post-reading activities. And it is now homework time. And your homework is you have to prepare or you have to write a short paragraph on the topic my Punjab. It's quite interesting. You have to write it on the basis of your reading of the text from the first two parts. You have to write it and I hope you are going to enjoy this homework. Whatever you have learned in the previous two videos, in the previous two lectures, all the things, you have to compile those things in a paragraph and you have to write it. So I hope you enjoyed and gained a lot of information about Punjab. Students, the next and the third part of the text will be discussed in the next lecture. So you have to revise all the things that you have learned about the text in the first and the second lecture and be prepared for the recapitulation activity for third lecture. Thank you.